Hello, today we're going to make a birdseed feeder from recycled materials. This is an idea from a book called Wildlife Garden by Martin Cox. The materials that you'll need are a milk or a juice carton, some birdseed, some glue. You will also need a twig, some string, a marker, a paintbrush, for the glue, a scissors and a pen. Finally, you'll also need some recycled plastic in browns and yellows and of course in some green as well for the colours of the leaves. The first step is to prepare the milk carton. I have painted this carton white for demonstration purposes but you don't need to. What we're going to do with our pen is we're going to mark out the areas which we're going to ask an adult to cut for us. The first place we're going to ask them to cut is at the very top. We're going to mark uh, a place here and a place here for the adult to cut two holes so that the string or the twine can go through. The next place we're going to ask them to cut is the doorway. Um, I have decided to go with this shape of a doorway, round top. And I've kept it about five centimetres from the bottom so that you have a reservoir of sweet seeds underneath it. The next area we'll mark for an adult to cut out is the perch area where we want the twig to go through on this side and also on the opposite side here. The final area we're going to mark for cutting is just a few slits at the bottom where rainwater will be able to drain out and not lodge in with the seeds. Here's our bird seeder. The adult has cut out all the places that we marked. Uh, they cut out the two places at the top so that we can put the string or the twine through it. They have cut out the doorway so the bird can feed. They have cut out the places for the twig to go through. And they've cut out the slits at the bottom for the drainage. Bird seed's ready to bring outside if we want, but I think we'll decorate it first. To make all the colours of our birdseed feeder, you will need to find a mixture of plastic uh, wrappers in greens, uh, some yellow and some brown if you can find it. Most of it is in the vegetable section. If you look at lettuce or carrots or bananas um, and some bread wrappers are, have greens and browns as well. And when you're finished with plastic wrapping, um, what you do is using your marker, you mark out the shapes of leaves on, on the different coloured wrappers. And if you could try and make the leaves different shapes, different sizes and different colours, it will really add to the decoration of the bird seed feeder. It will take approximately uh, 100 uh, leaves to cover this carton. Um, so you will take a good bit of time to cut all those out. So now for the fun bit, we are going to decorate the bird seed feeder. And to start, we will get some glue and put it in a saucer or a tray. And using the paintbrush, we will paint glue all over one side of the bird seed feeder. And when it's covered in glue, start using your leaves of many colors and sizes and shapes and stick them on. Um, onto that side. And as you move around the milk carton and come back around to this side again, you may see there's some little gaps and you just paint another layer of glue on and glue more leaves on until you're happy that it's bright and colorful and fun. So have fun with this section. So here is our final product decorated um, with the wire on top and the, the twig perch. And there's only one last job to do, and that's to fill it with bird seed and bring it outside. So thanks very much for joining us today. And thanks very much for the inspiration from this book by Martin Cox called Wildlife Garden. And I hope you enjoy making the bird seed feeder.